என்னை நான் யார் என்று சொன்னாலும் புரியாத என் காதல் நீ என்று யாரு that type of stuff so and sir always appreciates that when i do it sir is man of few words he won't say too much so if he says that then that means you did something right thalli pogade yanayum thalli poga sollade apparently first uh, when he first heard it he didn't like it that much because it's so different sir sir that's when it's long i i didn't hear from him directly you know dedicate my whole life to music uh first meeting again the 2011 december i like you said we look up to him at su- such a level so when we first and i first met him i didn't know what to say yana solar dene therila i just was silent i didn't say much but um quickly from that meeting and also all the times i've been with him since you realize that he is a uh, pure he hasn't been a uh, you know his his energy is still pure and he's like you said childishness i think it's it's a curiosity he's still always exploring music and looking for what more to discover and that's why he's been able to make classic after classic after classic over 25 years almost now right so when i first met him my the best thing that i remember was he was joking he was telling jokes and all this and i was just surprised cuz i didn't know what to expect i was scared you know not scared but you know you're you're in a room with someone that you looked up to for so many years so but he made me feel completely as at ease or a pressure i let record and it's nothing like that and then as i met him more and more it's just his outlook on life i remember one time specifically la let kacha i got flown out to la to record with him this was 2012 spring or february march time frame of course ad adiye da we we were making change study or something else i don't remember exactly what it was for actually now but um i went to la from boston and we were uh, he invited me to have dinner with him and the engineer we went out somewhere there one fan came and was asking him many 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 questions he kept talking so after the fan left i asked sir does that ever get annoying for you when people ask questions he's like no you know you never know what you can learn from someone so that i'll never forget it actually even to this day you think about someone who's reached that level and to think that he's always looking for knowledge anywhere he will never that he never thinks he's bigger than anyone i think for me as a as a a new artist a, a new singer in this field and all the fields that i'm in that's the biggest point to learn that music uh, is bigger than individuals the universe and i think many people will say this Nariyar pe sulwa but very few people can actually uh, lead by example. He the way he operates is what everything he says is how he leads his life. And I, that's immense. You know it's really big. Sure. Uh na no, no, actually think ke panla. Yapti receive aho na I didn't even think about any of that. I didn't have time to think about that. I came in, like I said in November for the season. Every time I'm coming I'll let I'll let sir know I'm I'll be in town for this long. Let me anything you need just let me I'll be there immediately. So so he knows which dates I'm here. Then uh then I didn't think about it. I went on practicing for my Carnatic concerts. I started giving my concerts through December. In the middle of all that the floods also happened so there was just a lot going on. Then one day I got a call to the studio in December to go record Tali Pogade. And it's uh the the first time I heard the the melody of how it moves. I I knew it was, and I've been saying this, but I knew it was something really special. It was very different. It doesn't sound like your average song or it even the structure wise it just it's very pushing boundaries really. um and when i first heard it, it was just the melody the lyrics were being written at the time uh by tamir imam and uh that's when i was i was called to the studio so sir said just digest the melody and then we'll come back and we'll record it so you learned the melody started recording it even as i was recording it i didn't think like how is, will people like this will they not like it none of that it's just recording i knew as as it all came to then after we were, were as we were recording 
they built out the song more you know the production and the style the sound of it so once it was it was done um they called me actually on the 31st December 31st after I had a concert Carnati concert earlier on and they called me to the studio after that so they called me to make some changes and all that sir was there Gautam in and sir was there um and they said they're going to release the trailer that night so we made the changes they did the mix sang, uh, synced it up with the trailer and then they released it uh, I went home around maybe 11 11 15 that night spent time with my family for New Year's went to sleep the next morning next two days I saw that it was getting this crazy reception and I didn't even have time to think you know this is how it's going to be received this and it's just all been you know like this is very sudden for me because the last song for sure that I did was Yan Nordin Yindal before I, I did one song for Anirudh a few months back but this I was not expecting and I never expect I, if it comes it's a blessing if not then that's fine but huge blessing huge by God's grace it's been received the way it's been received and I'm, it's all very humbling for me I'm, I'm very uh, blessed that Sir thought I would fit the song you know, and I, I think it's just incredible. I'm very, very happy. Yeah, I think um, that song is one of the most challenging songs I've ever sung. Um, and the experience, recording experience, and now we, I had done a show with Sir earlier on in the day, evening. It was that that too was the same trip, so. It was maybe January 2013 so a few months after the Kadal audio had launched so um, we had done the show then uh, I got a call from the studio from Suresh Ji at the studio saying come to the studio after the show we want to record a song for this movie I so again right after he said that I was excited because I've been a fan of Shankar sir's work for a long long time uh, so we went to the studio after and uh, we Shankar sir was there at the studio, Kabilan sir was there writing the lyrics and then uh, Air sir was also there and um, it was just an incredible process, the song is really high so at first I thought can I sing this high or not and sir also asked can you sing this high so I'll try it and sir was like no no you'll do it, it's fine, don't worry so then we just went and did it and again another session was rapid, no time to think, nothing try this, try that, no do this one and then I'd sing one run try an R&B run over here and I said and I because sometimes I'll sing Carnatic kind of for that session I sang one Carnatic riff so I learned I do an R&B run and I tried it ah that's the one so like those very fast you know this is that, that type of stuff so and sir always appreciates that when I do it especially if it's done tastefully so he knows how to take because I'll sing many of these little embellishments here and there and he'll say no this one is good that one you keep flat this one you keep simple but here you do this so his, it's really incredible his ear to know how to pick the gem out of everything and say to use this here I think that's one of the biggest things I've learned or trying to learn from sir is even for me when I first sent him that email the very first time I sent him and maybe it sounded okay but out of that he might have heard one line I sang and really really liked that and said okay now we should this I should listen to uh, use use him for this song or that song whatever um, so that session was like that it went on all night most of the night it went and we finished most of the song then after that in the next couple of months we'd finish all of it and there'd be some changes and all that um, but from the very first time I heard the song with the rough vocal that sir had done for it I knew it was something special because the it, it's intense it really matches the the scene of the movie the intensity of the emotion and all that so um, and the fact that this is my second song for Tamil film, again, blessing from God. You know, it's so such a special song and it really, I think, what's special is Arsa really knows how to use my voice. You know, I think um, he knows in which context musically it will fit, how to use it properly and all that. So that, that was another incredible experience. Uh, to all the India Glitz viewers, listeners uh, and supporters, this is Sid Sriram and I thank you very much for your support, um, supporting me through all my musical endeavors and all the songs that I've sung for films. And uh, I look forward to your continued support and your blessings. Thank you very much.